for Gloom High. <laughs> Laura Dalton is our Labour member for Geraldton in Western Australia. And kind of looks like Marilyn from Home and Away. I know you're all just so keen about me talking about uniform tariff policy and school funding because those topics are of course much more inherently funnier than the goings on of Drugos in East Perth. So I thought I'd make a video about Laura Dalton and the delivery she is going to bring to the wind weather town that this is. Yeah, thanks, Doc. Jones Health Campus is already making progress with over $70 million worth of projects, which when coupled with $2 million to TAFE's art upgrades would allow people in Jones to break a leg and fix it too. About $10 million will also be provided to mental health facility to combat the big sad and such. Certainly an increasingly large issue in the society that we live in. Infrastructure. Jones Port will be getting an upgrade, which is kind of a big deal given that we are technically a port town, a fact that is hard to find, as unlike Port Headland, we do not explicitly have it in our own name. Come to a port the channel. Channel, 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 channel. There will also be upgrades to Greeno Regional Prison, aptly referred to by the state government as fortifications, which is much needed given the promiscuous nature of rioting in that prison. Roads. All roads lead to Rome. Except for those in Geraldton, because of the proposed roads risk of potential flooding. What roads Geraldton does have, however, will be getting a hell of a widening, with Brand Highway and West Bank Roads receiving the required widening to allow for right turns and a passing pocket, which is someone who has miraculously passed their driving test on the first go, to the endangerment of global society as a whole, Fun's quite nice. Sports and tourism will also be getting major upgrades, a $3 million tourism jetty, $2 million for the basketball stadium, hockey ground upgrades, and $4.3 million to upgrade cycling networks and keep those f***ing mammals off of our roads. The environment will be getting a fair shout out as well, with the Hoodman and Abrolis Islands getting about $10 million for national park management, and Drummond's Cove getting a new boat ramp and $3 million for much needed coastal protection. Drummond's Cove's withering coastline, one that I have on many occasions visited, always makes me sad. I'm almost certain that even the most hardened bogan on earth would look upon those shores and instantly start speaking like an Austrian philosopher. These shores, they wither away, like we all wither away one day. Life is fickle and degrading, like these shores. Education. The list of education funding is so long that I'm going to have to shoot through it quickly. But to make up for the lack of jokes, I will do it while wearing something funny and stupid. Central Regional TAFE will be getting a combined $4 million worth of upgrades. Champion Bay and Jerome Senior High School both getting $1.5 million STEM buildings, which would make my soil scientist ancestor probably shed a tear. This is coupled with a general increase in science education in schools. Allendale Primary School will get just under half a million dollars for upgrades, as well as the primary school in Rangeway, aka the slab space for Borderlands 2. Bluff Point and Geron Primary School will be getting 200 and 100 grand in upgrades respectively, ensuring the primary schools in Geron actually keep up with the times and don't end up like some schools have in the world, where they are essentially made with asbestos so loose that they serve the same purpose as the humidifier at the Cappy. Playgroup funding in Medina place I refer to as Mount Tarkula 2 Electric Boogaloo, 40 grand to expand Geraldton's toy library, 14 grand so the volunteer marine services can get a storage shed for their emergency generator, 70 grand for a client transport vehicle, 44 grand for the Bundiyara Cultural Precinct. Housing. Keeping people off the streets is a very helpful way of keeping them quite ironically out of our backyards and stealing specifically the Great Norwoods from our fridge in our patio. That's surprisingly common. Ah, uh, gosh. Four points, brewing? Yeah. Where the hell are the Great Normans? In all seriousness, the new Aboriginal short stay accommodation with 75 beds and the refurbishment and building of 180 homes in the Midwest and Gascoigne region is instrumental in ensuring that people are able to be kept from troubling circumstances and get back out into the workforce. Because ultimately that is Labor's goal. To do what it says on the label. Labor. Ensuring that people in the country are productive and healthy to make sure that everyone is doing their part for the state and with the division of work everyone has the opportunity to focus on the other aspects of our lives be it family, friends or passions which in this town seem to be exclusively Neolithic cars. Yeah. With 
Grand Highway and West Bank Road receiving the... <sighs> this was very hard to do in this mask. I, I don't even know what I'm wearing. Some sort of new blood jacket thing.